Hi guys, good morning. I am about to do my makeup and head out for the day. And I thought to myself, I was like, I haven't done a video telling you guys why I love Nairobi or all the things I've enjoyed about this place as I moved here. So if that's your chance, stay tuned. Let's get right into it. Okay, let me give you an insight into where I'm going. One, it's warm and cold. Two, it's not too far from home. Three, there are tons of people who are from other countries who actually live and work here. Okay, but first, let's do some tea. This is such a gorgeous glass. One of the amazing things I love about Nairobi since I came here is they have such a rich tea culture and tea is so so good for your body so I've learned how to make really good tea so that here we are so you're going to be seeing me in with a lot of tea going forward the first step to any makeup routine is make sure that you prep your skin so I already prepped my skin with the Yves Rocher moisturizer you'll see right here on screen and with the milk makeup hydro primer so that's what I have on my face right now and that's how my skin is popping. So let's get right into this video. The first thing that shocks me about Nairobi when I moved here is the weather. I hope that I've tried to I treat that in my vlogs and if I haven't, please forgive me. But the weather here is very interesting. So recently actually it's been hot and it's been like really lost hot but the wind is cold. So like if you're not used to that weather, you would still feel cold even if the sun is shining. And one thing that I've heard about here is do not be deceived by it being cold. The sun rays are very dangerous, so you want to make sure that you are wearing your sunscreen. So this is a simple wake up look. This is a clean girl wake up look, so we are not wasting time. I would always start off with some concealer. We just need to take some of that and just put it in here. That's way much concealer that I would use on a normal day anyway, <laughs> but yeah. The second thing that shocked me and what I also kind of like about um, Nairobi is the people. I have made friends that I've learned so many life lessons from. So they're not as outspoken or like trying to push their ideas like down your throat as Nigerians are in person but they are kind of like that online but yeah they're reserved and they are not reserved at the same time and it's so crazy because it's like if you meet someone during the daytime their personality when you see them during the day is very different from their personality if you meet them in the night i don't know why which brings me to the night light one thing about kenyans is like they like to have a good time <laughs> The nightlife is not as crazy, classist, and intense as Lagos is, and they prioritize comfort over over fits. Like I would go out at night in the club and I'll see girls in sneakers. Like where in the history of Lagos have you heard that happening? It's almost impossible for that to happen in Lagos, you know. It's actually wild. But that's like one thing I found very shocking here. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, the people that I connected with, they have style, they have fits, but you know the way in Lagos, if you don't like have heels and you don't have like, um, the dress and stuff like that, most times girls would be like, oh, I'm not going outside, I don't have what to wear, that kind of thing. In Nairobi, girls will come out in a cute jeans on top and with sneakers and they will have a good time. I thought that's so shocking just because like, that's not what I'm used to, you know, seeing. The trick with uh, doing a no makeup, clean girl makeup look is you want to keep everything as creamy as you possibly can. I'll put a product description list in the description box. Yes. The next thing that I love and also shocked me about Nairobi is the scenery. Like half the time, I'm asking myself, am I really in Africa? The skies are so blue, the trees are so green. And I'm like, in Lagos, we do not have any 
we're not thinking like oh let's protect the environment let's plant trees i'm looking at the view from my bedroom as i am doing the makeup and right now and i'm like lagos could never like lagos could actually never and it made me realize that we as like nigerians generally we need to pay more attention to like our country and the ecosystem and everything because the reason why everything looks the way it looks is because in as much as the government maybe enforces rules or something the people also keep to those rules i go to the grocery store and i haven't seen one like plastic nylon bag like you buy um some types of bags at the grocery store but those bags are reusable and every time you want one you have to buy it they make you see that it's either you choose to be eco-friendly or you keep rebuying things another thing that shocked me about nairobi as well although like i've visited kenya before i didn't really stay in nairobi for too long to see a lot of this and it's the amount of places that they have that you have access to if you have money like one thing i love about nairobi is that see if you 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 get value for your money if you spend money on something you're going to get value of it like if you have the money to pay for a really nice apartment in a really nice area you would see that that expense is worth it unlike the Lagos where sometimes you pay for something and you're like was this really worth it like i don't feel like i got value for my money Nairobi is definitely a little bit more expensive than lagos because their currency is higher Although it's more expensive, like I've never felt like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like my money is not worth it. Yeah, at this moment, guys, I am just like really blending my concealer. This is the kind of makeup I would do if like you catch me out during the day. Because I'm noticing that the heavy foundation based makeup look during the daytime, come on, it's it, it's not working anymore. Don't get me wrong, like do your lashes, clear everything, do all of that at night, but if you're just heading out, you know, you don't need to do all of that. Another thing that shocked me about Nairobi is, or rather Kenya generally, I think they have a lot of UK influence. So Nigeria was also colonized by the British, but I feel like we get a lot of our inspo and the things that we like and the things that we do from the Americans. But in Kenya, you can tell that it's very British, very European maybe a little bit of scandinavian and also i might just be talking from a point of privilege that's what i have interacted with in my time here but that's something that i noticed and if i'm being honest guys like i'm not mad about it at all i really do enjoy the slow living the not rushing the prioritizing your health and wellness which is something that i also really like about this place like people care about themselves don't get me wrong not everyone is going to be pro healthy eating and things like that but i feel like here the majority are um when you see kenyans order food like you see them eat their vegetables their vegetables are a huge part of their diet which is like so cool because like back home in nigeria when you're eating a salad someone is looking at you like don't get me wrong nigerians eat salads it's just that it's not the culture there and here it's the culture also, another thing about here is, oh my god, there's just so many things I love about Nairobi at this point. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Okay, so another thing that shocked me, and also, I don't know, is guys, the people here don't eat spicy food, you know. They don't eat spicy food, and it's just funny, because like, can you imagine somebody making food back like home and not adding spice? You get and when you say oh give me spice it just give you some paste that you taste it and you're like where are the flavors where's the intense ginger the intense garlic the intense pepper like where is all of that but i think that as time goes by i've been finding my way around that and enjoying it like a tad bit more which i'm really happy for and which is also why i learned the lesson that your mindset kind of like influences so many things because it was when i was just like valerie you are here and instead of complaining you need to look on the bright side of things and i sort of have done that sometimes i still complain i go to certain restaurants with my friends but you know not all the time 
Another thing about Nairobi that I really like is that they like to have a good time. You know how you go out in Lagos? Lagos is certain places, not everywhere. And you just see people with their champagne glasses, girls especially, crossing their legs, turning the head left to right, and that kind of thing. I feel like in Kenya, if girls are out, they're out to have a good time. They are dancing, they are enjoying the music. And when we're talking about music, they love Nigerian music here. And the only problem I wish with that is they like Nigerian music from like a long time ago. Um, they play Asha Care and all of that, but that would only happen if you even go to places that prioritize like Nigerian stuff. But the places that do not prioritize Nigerian stuff, you would just like hear maybe like Yuri Yuri like bracket from how many years ago? I found that like really shocking and weird because I'm like, I haven't even heard this in Lagos in like a really really long time. Um, at this point, guys, I'm kind of done with my face. Um, I'm now going to put some chill on my eyebrow. Um, I keep people with it. Cause I'm just trying to look like I rolled out of bed and I have healthy skin. Not that I am big. Another reason why I really love Nairobi and Kenya as well is that things work even like in the rural areas. So when I visited Masai Mara, as you guys saw from that video, it's not as developed as Nairobi is. But things worked how they were supposed to. Like people were responsible for things and they all prioritize what they were responsible for. I found this so interesting the way everyone just like took responsibility for what they were supposed to do. And in my head, I was like, Nigeria would be such a much better place if people could just even do household rags. So I used a pink base blush cream, but I'm just going to top it up with a little bit of orange from Lohini Beauty. You can see it's super bright, but it's just a little. I'm actually literally obsessed, like, Mm. I mean, of course, the blush gives it away that I do have something on my face. So, another thing I found shocking about Nairobi though is like, you know how, uh, okay, well, it's a cold country. But people take their boot wearing here seriously. You see a lot more boots, and it makes sense because the country is a little cold. Um, I just found the weather shocking because I'm like, oh, we're in Africa, why are we wearing boots? For some days it's so cold and it makes sense that that happened but i personally think that it was such a blessing that i was here i got to start my year here because it just allowed me see things from a different perspective and just like really reflect how i live my life the hustle and bustle that we've been used to what we think that we need to have to for it to be that we're performing because like that's what we know yeah another thing i found interesting about this place is that they also pay their rent monthly i'm like if most people pay their rent monthly why does not Lagos stripe or nigeria as a whole allow us pay rent monthly i believe that if that happened like people will be able to afford more things and like have a better quality of life you know, I don't think, although, okay, paying monthly may make rent a lot more expensive when you think about it on the yearly scale. But if that means that we have better houses, then I think that's fine. I'm going to be doing my lips with the Fenty Beauty Heat. Yeah, this one. It has like a red tint to it. For jewelry, I'm going to just uh, put some of these earrings on and I'm ready for the day. Because I was talking, of course, this makeup took longer than it's supposed to, but on days where I'm just trying to get out of the house and look at night, this is what I do and it's always such a good idea um, because I always look healthy and uh, nice. Let's go to the mirror and do some proper finishing touches all right so 
I'm trying to think, should I? I think I should have my hair back. I think it's so good. Um, yeah, so another thing I did find shocking about Nairobi is, you know the way in Lagos people just have luxury cars everywhere? Apparently in Kenya, you pay taxes for like the cars that you buy. There's taxes to own a car rather. The more expensive your car is, the higher the taxes are. So because of that, um, you would not really find a lot of people driving those sorts of cars. Don't get me wrong, there are people who have those cars because I have seen those cars. It's just that the way it's kind of common in Nigeria, Lagos, because like that's where I've been living recently, it's just not as common here. And I was also shocked that they did drive on the same side of the road as the UK as well. In my head, I'm like, Nigeria, we got colonized by the UK, but I guess we did just choose to drive on the same side of the road as the US. Which is why I said once again that we take a lot of our influences heavily from the US. Um, this is my finished look. Uh, if you do catch me during the day, this is what you see me in. I no longer really wear highlighter because I just like the overly blushed and healthy skin look because you can see how my skin is just radiating on the side. If you do try this look, let me know. Let's get a thumbnail picture. Well, yeah, these are some of like my own thoughts on my experience so far, but I really had the best time here. I am so, so grateful and happy that I did experience living here. And I would say that at the same time, I would recommend that if you can, try to travel because it really does expand your horizon. It expands your mindset. You learn about other ways of life. And I'm, I'm even talking about not even doing the luxury travel. Like if you travel and you just pay attention to how the people of a certain culture live their lives. Even visiting the Maasai Mara, I remember I learned so much from that. So yes, if you can, especially if you're a woman, there's just something about traveling. Uh, it doesn't have to be solo, you can do a girl's trip, but I've noticed that when you're solo, you're able to do more reflecting than when you're on a girl's trip, except the entire theme of the girl's trip is reflecting and all the girls are reflecting. Yes, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just a short, simple, chit chatty get ready with me. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts below. Um, yeah.